guys, Super 784 here, and today I'm going to be playing some Mountain Blade Warbane. So, um, it's kind of for starters, um, I'm going to be using the Vexed Native mod, which is made by Vex, the creator of the Super Hostile series of maps of Minecraft. And, so well, let's get started. So, um, I played this game a little before. The first time I played it, I rage quit super hard for it, and it was all bad. Then I decided a couple months ago, like a month or two ago now, to come back and give it a second try. I got into, into the game more and kind of got better at it. Figured out some settings that worked better for me. And I've... Here we are. And so this is my first time playing with the Vex native mod, which makes the early game a little more difficult, but it also makes the long-term game quicker, is how I've heard it, I guess. So, welcome adventure to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character, one, or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women in commoners can attain all of the same goals, and in fact may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. So, I think that's the only full paragraph I'm going to read for this video, just because I don't want to kill my voice, and it would make the video last. This first video would just be me reading through the create a character, and you wouldn't get to see any of the action. So, if you want to read everything, you can just pause it and read it and then continue the video. Something you can do on YouTube. Mail, and so... I'm sort of going to go with, I guess, a fairly good start that um, gives you... You waste very few of the starting skill points. So it is... Your father was a veteran warrior. And apprentice. Squire. And personal revenge. So if you wanted to read any of those, you could just pause the video on that screen and do it. Read it. So it's an adventure and ride your destiny. And I'm going to allow myself to quit without saving just because I'm not going to go super hardcore. Still not that great at the game, but okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to name myself. Meriden Spirit. Is certain is an old username I used to use. I don't use it so much anymore, and it just sounds better than super freak. So, and then this is obviously just respelling a freak. With the R just move, and it kind of sounds Nordic, which is what I like to start with. And later in the game, once I become a vassal of say, the Nords, if I do that, I can change my name to Jarl Fierik, and it sounds like it was supposed to be like that. So, I think we're gonna go with. Two points into charisma, which will allow me. Oh no, I've already maxed that out. Thing. Oh well. Oh well. Um, I think we're gonna reset that then. We're gonna go one into intelligence. We'll give us an extra skill point. Um, one into strength. One into each of these. Yeah. Then we're going to go with leadership's maxed out. Good. Um. Okay, so. I guess as I come into things that the uh, mod changes, I'm going to try and mention them to you. And I need to change my sound. My headphones are really loud. I don't know how the audio is going to come across for the video. I, I, I did play around settings before I started this, and they should all be good. So we're going to go one point into prisoner management. Um, wound treatment, surgery, and first aid all gets covered by NPCs later. And oh, so yeah, so the Vex native mod, prisoner management up, me, um, up here where it says it adds maximum number of prisoners by five. The Vex native mod changes that to ten, I think. And then, yeah, kind of, it just makes the whole game so it kind of runs quicker. I think I'm going to go two points into pathfinding. There we go. Um, writing's maxed out, weapon master's maxed out, power strike, probably should dump another point into that. 
No, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna point to the iron flash just because I get hit a lot and I'm not good at dodging stuff, so I'd rather just have a lot of health and be able to deal with it. So I need to put in points into archery. Yeah, I'm just gonna dump all my points into archery because having a good. I, like, I prefer bows and arrows, just more accurate, and I like. I'm firm over crossbows. And then the power draw makes them so they can do a lot of damage. I should have put a point into that, but that's level. Okay, and we will randomize, randomize, randomize. randomize. Decide I don't like any of these and go to the. What was it? That one? Which pair did I like? That? No, um, there it is. Age, always super young, and fair color. Right there. What? I'm gonna have to go for that. Looks super Nordic, but. And. Just kinda, cause I like to start. Um. <sighs> Swati is easier to start in, cause you have Forest Bandits deal with, and they're easier to take out. So the Nords is more interesting, because. Yeah, you deal with the, the sea bandits, and I, I just prefer being the north. We go with that. Oh, sea Raiders by April. Yada, 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 yada. You can read that if you want to. Let me can read that if you want to. And the rest of the blade fighting from a scabbard. Oh no. Okay. How do I get that back out? There we go. I don't want to cross right there. Really slow to reload. And sword. I should have just gone from the sword from the start. So I played through the start of this too recently to be able to act surprised here. I'm sorry. I don't. It's because I just I just played through this whole thing like less than a month ago now. I think. Talk to the merchant. And I'm not going to, I'll read through this, but I kind of know what it all says. And so if you want to read it, you can pause the video and read it. So basically, the story is, his brother's been kidnapped by bandits, and he wants you to go out, gather a small party, and then track down those bandits and save his brother. And this is kind of, you can skip this part if you just want to get into the game, but this is sort of like this tutorial, kind of explaining some basic functionality of the game, and it gives you some starting gold, which is always nice, or dinar, or and there we go. And then we go. Okay, and then first class to see the tutorial. It's now tab to leave. Now we have to do oh yes, another thing the mod the vaccinated mod changes. It changes all the colors that show up better. In the game, which is kinda nice. Tough getting used to because I haven't played with it before, but oh well. To start we're gonna go over here to Quinn. Today, the gods would decide your oh, fate! No. This isn't gonna end well. Oh, one troop fifth battle. Oh, man. If I had my bow, I might be able to pull this off. But... So, basically, what I'm gonna have to do is just ride around them in circles. Okay, so, yeah, I just went restarted, and I think I did basically the same start as before. I think I changed some of my skills, yeah, I put some points into power draw instead of iron flesh that time, but 
I think that should be the only difference. And this time we're going to be more careful about watching for Sea Raiders. Group of looters there, but I don't want any part of that. Yeah, we're going to get all those things again. Now we're just going to move very slowly. Good. Well, man. Okay, so that's another thing the vaccinated mod does is it adds you can recruit more here, and you can directly meet with the village elder, which really helps. Now that we have our troops, we're going to head up here. I really want to try and take on those looters, but... I could take them, I think. You know what? What am I setting that? Options. Automatic, automatic, users, yes, yeah. So I could try that. You know what? Those are just looters, so I'll deal with them. I'll try it. Should give me some nice money to start with. And I have, yeah. I'm actually I'm really smart about this. And for my troops to hold up there because I think all the space troops do have some slight range weapon range. So that's one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to the Kingdom of the Rodokes and grab some Rodokian tribesmen, which trade into Rodokian sharpshooters eventually, which are some of the best range units in the game. Which what I normally try to do with an army is have Swadian Knights. Line of Swadian Knights with a line of Rodoke Sharpshooters behind them, and that's anything that gets close gets taken out by the Knights. Anything at range gets taken out by the Rodoke Sharpshooter. Try crossbow again. A shot at these guys, and then rush them. Give me some nice equipment and um, money to start with more. Yeah. Not worth a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Wow, so much stuff. Oh man, that's really the most I can hold. So we're gonna do and go down. And grab the best hat. I'm gonna sit. The best to put that on. Mm. I'll swap those out. 21 for 22. Not worth the change. Can you do something good? What? I don't like the shorter reach. I'm going to do that. Ooh, look at that. Upgraded. So now we're going to go. Point into, I think, agility. Yes. Agility, and then learn some weapon master. Basically, that'll help out everything. And jump it all into archery and one handed weapons. And we all very slowly head back to Sargoth. And there we go. Now we'll visit the marketplace, the goods merchant. And we will sell everything for virtually no money. But now, instead of having like three dinars, I have 122, which I'm going to have to... Oh, that's so expensive. Why is that all so expensive? That's some grain, I guess. That'll have to do for now. Man. Oh, wow, I got a whole bunch of money from those bandits. What's cheese? No. Bread, I guess. No. Not... 
that'll work for now. Head back. Okay. Merchant. Get a good bow. Ooh. Oh, I. Okay, oh, God, I do have points in the power draw. I power draw two now. The bow will cost me. The cheapest bow is 16. Oh, that's going to be a better bow, I guess. But, yeah. Um, you know what? I'll just live with what I have for now. Tavern. It'll go to Blizzard Drunk. Yeah. Well, I shall hunt for bandits. Great. What? Man, I really need to work on my... Oh, because I was wounded from the battle. That was kind of lame. Killed by a drunk. Tell me where I keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Hopefully this start works better than that last one. That was just... I have a feeling I think I'm just going to cut that out entirely. That was just... All bad. That, what happened? I select the wrong option? Dang it, I selected the wrong option. Oh. Well, don't I feel foolish. I didn't even look to see where he said Bandit Lair was. Here I can. Which is. It is. Oh, wow. It's way over there. Great. I get slaughtered by sea bandits before I do that. Sea raiders. <laughs> 